Hi, I wanted to tell you how I was going to watch the Super Bowl today. It might seem like a strange topic, but I'm doing it in a unique way. Because we canceled our cable at home, I have no way of really watching it unless I find some kind of online streaming provider or something like that. But at our office, we actually have several, um, we have a couple of machines set up that are monitoring television, closed caption data, and recording video uh, for one of our clients. So I have access to these machines with video capture cards that I can just cat the uh, video directly from the capture card uh, and either write it to a file, which is what we normally do, or I can send the stream over netcat over the net and stream that to my home, s uh, or connect to it from my home computer and stream it into mPlayer, uh, which is pretty cool. So I will just connect to that remote computer. Now I'm on this remote system that actually has uh, video cards on it. Well, video capture devices on it. It actually only has four, but because of the way the driver in Linux works, it actually creates all these extra uh, video devices for recording in different ways. Um, I only carry about video 6 because that's the one that's actually monitoring NBC. Uh, although I might want to switch to other channels, I have a few other uh, channels set up on this machine. And if I just cat out video 6 and pipe that into netcat and I want to put in listener mode and listen on port 9998 that's just a random port that I chose so anything that connects to it it's going to send the output that it's getting from input and then on this machine I will connect to that host using netcat as well on port 9998 and pipe that into mPlayer and give it a uh, let's give it a 3 megabyte cache and play the uh, whatever comes in on standard input which is what this dash is for. The reason why I'm using uh, video output uh, X11 is because I'm doing a screencast and if I want to be able to view the video while I'm actually playing it and have it show up for you I need to use a special video output mode. So normally I would just use uh, I think GL output mode or something and that would give me full screen and it wouldn't affect the video. So what you're going to see is a little bit off from what it's going to look. It'll be shrunk down a little bit more. So first I start this and this starts the stream and listens on that port and then I connect to it and immediately I get a uh, video feed which is pretty cool. So the quality is pretty nice I can make it full screen. Again, like I said, because I'm using X11 mode, it's not going to stretch this out and make it full screen. So you can see over here in my gel G curl M output how it's using quite a bit of bandwidth. And that's not that ideal because if this starts going up over like a, mega, a megabyte per second or so, it'll uh, be hard to stream. Uh, to my whole home system and it'll consume so much bandwidth that it won't really le leave a lot of breathing room um, so I decided that I would actually write a little script and this just uses this actually uses an FFmpeg that I found on the net for doing this kind of thing live encoding um, so this will basically take standard input or dollar one I, I take any uh, anything that I want to. Uh, you know, I could give it a file, I could give it a dash for standard input. So I take standard input and I pipe it through this, change the bit rate to something a little bit lower uh, so I can have some breathing room again, and then send the output over standard output and that way I can pipe it into netcat again. So here I just come in here and I say ffmpeg and get this ready again. I can reduce the buffer size this time and go ahead and start this and start this. I'll have to wait a few seconds. I normally don't really care much about the Super Bowl but this year I'm 
watching it because it's actually up in Indianapolis, uh, which is only about 40 or 50 miles away from us. So I thought it would be a good idea for us to watch it, and my daughter was interested in watching it. So that's why. Hmm. Okay, this didn't start. So it probably needs a... Oh! For some reason it stopped. Oh, right, okay. I need to put a dash here. <laughs> to show that I want standard input. So here we go. Okay, it's scrunched a bit. And I think this is, again, because I'm in X11 display mode. When I was doing this earlier with just GL output mode, it was working fine. So again, for the purpose of recording for this video, this is why the, the video output is kind of strange. But you can see that the bandwidth is considerably lower and the quality is still pretty good. So by just using a couple of command line uh, option, you know, a few commands on the command line, I'm able to, uh, to stream this video from this remote source. I could also do some neat things like if I want to uh, if I wanted to save a copy of, of what I'm streaming, I could even do it before I um, encode it so I get the like the full quality. So I can say Super Bowl 46 MPEG. It's in MPEG mode, so I would just do like this. So T will save a copy of standard input and continue writing to standard output. So I can actually go here and just hit enter. This will start recording. I can watch it. And in the background, T is actually saving a copy of what I'm, what I'm watching. So I'll turn that off. And you'll see how there's now a Super Bowl 46 that's been saved quite a bit. So let me... Now we'll watch the same part over because I've recorded it. So I recorded that little section and it's pretty neat. Uh, I have the video uh, audio turned down. I'm actually hearing the audio but because of my microphone it's only recording me. Um, and you know it's just a bunch of sports people talking <laughs> so who cares about that anyways uh, so hopefully this will inspire you to try doing stuff like this yourself um, you know and that it's actually an option and, and netcat is actually a very powerful command um, along with programs like T and everything okay well enjoy your Super Bowl today and while you're watching you can think about how I'm streaming it through the command line. <laughs>